All right. We're another preset. Luke chapter 16. is Luke chapter 16 anyway I think it's um, Luke chapter 14 Pages, man. Luke chapter 14, verse. There we go. Luke chapter 14, verse 16. Then he said unto him, This is the Lord speaking. A certain man made a great supper and bade many. And he sent his servant at supper time to say to them that are bidden. Come for all the things are now ready. Ooh. And he said, okay. and they all with one consent began to make excuse. Man, this is the scripture, man. Beautiful scripture. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excuse. So you got the Lord sent men out there to preach and they making excuses, man. Oh, uh, 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 my wife or my job. Well, like this, this clown said, he said, what? He said, I bought a piece of ground, I meaning he bought a piece of land. And I must needs go and I pray he had me excuse. So what? They all got all kind of external affairs. Because they don't want to do the will of the Lord, man. But when all hell break loose, you're going to cry and you how about Shimei al -Shah. The scripture says in Ezekiel the 18th chapter, all what you did is not going to be remembered. It's going to be forgotten. And he said a servant at supper, and he, verse 18, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. Verse 19, Excuse, and 19, I'm going to jump down 19. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray he had me excuse. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So you had one dude said he bought a piece of land, one dude said he bought oxen, the other dude said he bought what? He got, he married a wife. So they all had, they all put affairs before they put the Lord there. And Heavenly Father said he's a jealous power. If the 
most high is not first on your list, you're not going to make it. Like Yahweh Shai said, if you cannot forsake all, then you cannot be my disciple. I'm going to keep reading anyway, because this is a selfless act. We're not coming out here in our own accord, man. The Lord commanded that we come out here. Anyway, it said, So the servants came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master house, being angry, which is Yahweh Shai, to his servants, go out quickly into the streets, into the lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, the mind, and the halt, and the blind, which is Israel. You're supposed to go out to where? The streets of the city, man. The chief place of concourse. You got to look like a fool for the, for the Lord's sake. All right? It says, um, And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servants, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, and my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper, which is the kingdom. Which means y'all gonna taste those nuclear missiles. Y'all gonna taste the concentration camps. And y'all gonna taste that famine. Because you refuse to do a light thing, which is to go out there and preach. But like Trip says, this is a light thing to come out here and do the will of the Lord, man. All right, so the Lord is not dealing with excuses. If the Lord gave you a talent, you got to build on it until your latter end. Okay, you got to come out here and do what you got to do, man. Not for us, because uh, yeah, like I said before, Yahweh Shai commanded it. So dudes out there that you say you're going off, you know, you sin. You sin and I can't come out. I the most high is not dealing with that, man. I'm gonna get a scripture. Second Ezra's chapter 16 verse 76 it says um, this is what the Lord told Ezra and the God of them who keep my commandments oh verse 75 is good verse 74. Hear, O ye by beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. The days of trouble are at hand. Because martial law gonna come here, man. The microchip gonna come here. Okay? And you're gonna have more false flag attacks. That's what you had that damn um in DC. They said you had some uh, train station that was filled up with smoke. And that's what you had this other uh about ISIS, man. Another boogeyman that they created, the government created. And they're going to release all kind of diseases out here. Like they already tried with the Ebola. That was a so-called man-made weaponized disease. So the days of trouble are at hand. We in a day of trouble right now. Anyway, it says, um, Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God. For the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. The scripture said, don't let your sins weigh you down. So if you did sin, don't let that keep you down, man. You got a greater task. And that task is preaching the word of the Lord, man. And don't let your, and, don't, and just because it says that, don't let your iniquity lift themselves up. So if you're doing something that's repeatedly wrong, correct yourself. Because if you don't, the most high correct you. And the ultimate correction is death. So you want to avoid that at all costs. And there's a good prayer to say on that as well. And I'm going I'm I'm to say that prayer.
Ecclesiasticus chapter 23 Let me say this real quick this is a good prayer it says O Lord Father and Governor of all my whole life lead me not to their counsels matter of fact let me read verse 3 he said let my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction no lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction and I fall before my adversaries and my enemy rejoice over me whose hope is far from thy mercy and this is what Ed, um, Sirach said O oh Lord Father and power of my life give me not a proud look man and turn away from me thy servants always a haughty look so dudes gotta stop being proud man the heavenly father hates a man that's proud because the scripture says that your righteousness is like a filthy rag ain't none of us worthy of the most high man but you're gonna be saved through your faith and your works the son of man about to come back so you want to be as humble as hell you got dudes out there being proud man bucking up against the men that taught you that's not the way to be or they despise correction. That's why he said, what, turn away from me a haughty look. Okay, that's how women act. Okay, a man is supposed to, supposed to just take it, man. The scripture says to gird up your loins like a man. It says, um, let me read verse five. Turn away from me the vain hopes and concupiscence and thou shalt hold me up that is desirous always to serve thee. And that's what you gotta pray for. Vain hopes is what? Believing in America. Hey, that's vanity. Okay, America's gonna be destroyed, man, in this third world war. As it is written, thus saith the Bible, thus saith the Holy Scriptures. Okay, believing in a country that's about to fall, that's vanity. Okay, believe talking about 10 or 20 years from now, that's vanity, man. Okay, you're supposed to be what? The scripture says, Have no thought of tomorrow, for tomorrow has thought of itself. So you're not supposed to hope in those things. You're supposed to seek salvation. And he said, What? Always give me that spirit to serve you. So that's the spirit that we all got to be in. Like King David said, Never take that Holy Spirit from me. Which is a wisdom not just standing of the most high and son. Which is the, the, the wisdom not just standing of the most high and his son. Okay? That's what you gotta do, man. Because why? The days that's coming, we gonna need it. All the work and labor you put in is not for in vain. We all gonna receive a reward in this thing. These people out here, they're gone. They have no clue what's coming to the society and they don't care. Why? Because they're of the world. We're not of the world. All right? And that's what we're going to continue, Lord willing. Keep coming out here until the Lord see fit to bring forth the famine of the word. And okay, we don't do this for money or filthy lucre's sake. We do this for what? Because we want to receive salvation from the outer child. So a lot of dudes out there, man, that, that claim you're going through something and you can't come out here, cut the bullshit out. Okay, cut the bullshit out, man. And man up. Okay? Because you ain't going through nothing yet. The martial law comes and hell hit out here, that's when the real test is going to come. You can't deal with these minor offenses, then you should have never signed up. You should have never, ever, ever put on your garment, man. Right?
Yahweh Shai said. Luke 14.